forsaken, gather us in the blind and the lame. All right, let's do this. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to the edition of the Performer Cigar Garage Talks. <clears throat> How's everyone doing tonight? I'm actually doing pretty good. Um, as uh, this might be a special edition, you performer. Um, not sure. Maybe I'll make this one one of the normal Monday update videos. Maybe I'll post a little sooner. Who knows? Um, let's not get too much into that. What are we smoking? What are we drinking? Tonight, we are smoking. Let's get that in focus. Still well. Navy number 1056. That's right, 1056. Let's get that in focus. Will it focus? I doubt it will. There we go, 1056. Uh, these cigars apparently are supposed to have uh, pipe tobacco put in them to give them a bit of a better aromatic smell and to change the, uh, the palate a little bit. For the beer tonight, this one. Delicious. Boatload Brewer Series, the Sour, Raspberry Sour. Uh, from Upper Hand Brewery, of course. The local brewery here. Uh, delicious beer. In case you're wondering, I do have some cherries in the bottom of my glass. Um, pretty much they're just there for decoration. Um, I have had both the Stillwell Cigars and this beer before. And that's going to be tonight's topic. Super excited for this. Look at that. That is going to be a nice raspberry beer. Super excited to have it. Oh, yeah. That one is delicious. Highly recommend um, that. I hope they continue that, uh, that series through the summer because that right there, that's going to be on the deck. Um, I don't care if I'm shooting a video or not. That is going to be on the deck, ladies and gentlemen. That's a delicious beer. Light, fruity, um, not too assaulting on the fruity, not too assaulting on the hops end. Something you can smoke and enjoy. Also, making its appearance back again. That's right, my faithful ashtray is back. Um, so you might notice I, I grooved. That's something I wanted to do. I wanted to put a groove in. So cigars don't roll around as much. Um, but I didn't do as deep of a sanding inside the bowl on the outside. So I did not stain this at all. It's straight varnish. Um, but because it's been outside, because it's been in the light, um, this actually darkened. That's what urethane does. Polyurethane, when hit with UV rays, darkens. Um, so this looks a little off. I think next year I am going to sandblast it and get all the uh, the old varnish off so it has a uniform color. But you know what? It's very nice to put down your cigar and she don't roll. It sits right there. <clears throat> don't have to worry about it rolling off. Before I had these grooves in, you had to worry about it rolling off of uh, those flat shelves there. Uh, my buddy's still here. We're still smoking with our 300 million year old friend. Hello, friend. Hope you enjoy the cigar. I'm sure you were looking forward to uh, smoking uh, with someone 35 million years in the future. Anyway, glad to have my old friend back. My old my old ashtray. Um, <clears throat> what really kicked off the channel uh, when I finally built that thing. So, so what's a nice talk? Let's let's stop beating around the bush. This cigar, this beer. This is not the first time I've had either one. Um, if you watched the last video, uh, you might know that we had a guy's night. So I'm a big fan. Um, guys everywhere need to come together. And they need to do guy things. Smoke cigars, drink alcohol, uh, and have conver real conversations. Uh, and, 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 and grill some dead animal. Um, so I did have my guys' night. Um, we drank beer. We drank hard liquor. Uh, we smoked a bunch of cigars, a whole host of different cigars. Um, the dead animal was a hamburger. Um, was this hamburger pork venison mix? 
uh, with onions, garlic, uh, Worcestershire sauce, a touch of soy sauce, some uh, Lowry's seasoned salt. Listen, if you ain't gonna do Lowry's, you ain't doing it right, of course. Uh, talk, talk to my grandpa, or my dad about that, my kid's grandpa. Um, and then we smoked them. We cold smoked them for about three to four hours. Um, and then finish them off in the smoker for about yeah, two, two and a half hours. Delicious. Uh, turned out really good. The onions we put in there caramelized. I was kind of worried about that, that they were going to be a little uh, uh, fresh, shall we say. Definitely overthought that. Beautiful caramelized onions. Um, the guys' night itself went great. Um, we had six people show up in total. A um, couple of guys, you know, one guy left early and then another guy showed up, uh, which would, led to a nice night. Um, you know, we had conversations, we had talks, uh, we had good food, good alcohol. Um, I got to try this boatload. I'm absolutely loving it. Um, if all the beers in that series are like that, uh, sign me up. Again, I hope they have this raspberry one all through the summer. I can see myself sipping on those in front of bonfires um, late into the night, shall we say. It's delicious. Um, yeah, it was really good. Again, having men together, talking about manly things, um, talking about non-manly things. Uh, we did have probably one of my favorite conversations, my favorite topics that come up is we had an open, non-judgmental, honest discussion about religion. Um, now, as many of you know, I am very, very, very Catholic. Um, my, uh, the people who showed up, Christian, but not necessarily Catholic. Uh, it started off by talking about COVID and uh, the Catholic stance on COVID. We then pivoted to some uh, recent edicts by the Pope. Um, and then it kind of went from there. Uh, I know a couple of guys kind of felt a little nervous that they were maybe picking on me. Um, I was the only Catholic. There were three others who were not, you know, Christian, of course, but not Catholic. Um, one of the guys kept saying that he really hoped he, there was another Catholic who'd show up so I could have some reinforcements, but... I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I've talked before about the Brady bonfires, or Barry, excuse me, Barry bonfires. When I worked for Barry schools in Maryland, um, we would sit around having these fires. Uh, we had a gentleman who sent him the day of the Venice. We had a Jewish individual. We had someone who was Hindu, uh, someone who was New Age. We had, I mean, just a gambit of religions. And we'd sit down and talk about theological conversations. And this was as close as I've gotten to that. Um, you know, were they trying to convert me? No. Were they trying to explain their position? Yeah, of course. Um, was I trying to convert them to the Catholic way? No, of course not. Um, was I trying to explain my position? Yeah. Um, I'd like to believe, I know I did, what they told me definitely challenged some of my my ideas is going to make me over the next couple of weeks study a little bit more, read a little bit more, um, console with uh, trusted people who I, I trust their opinion and value their opinion on religious matters. Um, I hope I did the same. I hope I inspired them and made them think about maybe there's another way to look at this. I don't think I offended anyone if I did. I'm super sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> do know that my viewpoints are mine. Um, do you have to agree with them? No, of course not. Um, just like I hope you understand that your viewpoints are yours and I don't have to agree with them. Um, nothing was said that I am totally aghast or offended by. It, it takes a lot to do that. As I told one of the gentlemen, you know, it's... Uh, I cannot build in faith if I'm never challenged. And they did challenge me, and I loved every minute of it. It was awesome. Um, really good conversation, really good uh, back and forth. And I really do think that we as men should talk about our faith. Now, I'm not saying go out and convert your brother and sister to your religion. Um, I suppose I should be. That's probably my failing. But 
we should be able to talk with each other about our differences. And, and religion is one of the biggest differences we have um, as people. How we choose to worship and acknowledge God. And it's unfortunate that many people believe that, you know, the two things you never talk about is politics and religion. I don't believe that. That puts us in this weird place where, you know, we can't see where the other person is coming from. Um, I don't know if uh, on the guys and I shared this, but it's a story I've shared here before. I was teaching an EMS uh, instructor coordinator class and I, we were doing multicultural. And I talked about how um, Jehovah's Witnesses cannot receive blood products or organ transplants. And one of the students was like, well, yeah, that's just completely stupid. What ignorant Neanderthals are they? And I stopped and I said to him, have you ever actually asked a Jehovah's Witness why they can't receive blood products? And he had been, no, he had not. I said, well, it's because they believe from biblical sources that the soul resides in the Bible. Or sorry, the soul resides in the blood. Um, so if you were to receive blood from someone else, you're receiving their sins. You're receiving part of their soul. And that's why they don't believe in organ transplants or blood transfusions. Because they believe you could be absorbing someone else's sin. And the guy just sat there dumbfounded. He was like, I, I have learned something new today. <laughs> if we can't talk about our religion, our differences, in a civilized manner, again, we see on TV, on YouTube, uh, right, the clickbait photos of people yelling at each other. Eh, okay. There are some religions that thrive on that. Um, but I think just having an open, honest discussion about your faith, what do you believe in? Um, I don't judge anyone for their beliefs. Uh, now, they might be wrong, mind you. Uh, in my eyes, in my interpretation, but that doesn't mean that it isn't what you believe. And that doesn't mean I don't want to learn about it. I don't want to understand where you're coming from. How do you process information? Now, again, I feel strong enough in my faith that you're not going to convert me. And for the most part, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to convert you because if you're open and willing to talk about your faith, you're pretty strong in it. Um, if you're not, you probably aren't very strong in your faith. So, um, absolutely wonderful. I can't wait for the next guy's night. Um, I'm even contemplating maybe we should do a guy's Bible study or a, uh, a guy's uh, a bruise in Bibles. Um, you know, let's, let's sit back, talk about the Bible. Uh, Multi-denominational, multi-faith. Because uh, again... I've learned stuff from Jewish people that I don't agree with, but I respect um, that I might not uh, necessarily, you know, believe in. But on the other hand, that's a good point. You raise a good point there, sir. So, um, oh, also, I, I should bring this up. I was outed. Um, one of the gentlemen did find my YouTube channel, shared it with the other guys who were at the party. Um, and one of them so happens to be a YouTube aficionado and uh, really wants me to try to develop my channel. Uh, who knows, maybe I will, I highly doubt it. I very much enjoy having this be, as I explained, it's about two hours for me to smoke a cigar, have a good beer, be in my garage where my kids aren't interrupting me. It's, it's kind of a time for me. Um, I, I hope you enjoy it, um, all 60 of you subscribers. Um, and I hope this gives you some insight and gives you some comfort, gives you something to think about. Uh, but if it doesn't, I understand. Thank you very much for watching. Um, but yeah, who knows? Uh, he was really adamant, though. He really wants me to advance my channel. Um, he's helped a lot of other YouTubers advance theirs. Who knows? We'll see. Uh, right now, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to smoke a cigar that's infused with pipe tobacco 
Drink a beer, which I hope stays throughout the summer because this is going to be my bonfire beer. Ladies and gentlemen, this one's coming back. Raspberry Sour from Boatload. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a delicious summer beer. Um, I will be drinking that one quite a bit coming up. So anyway, folks, I uh, hope you have a chance to talk about your faith, uh, especially those who don't believe what you believe because you don't grow by only staying around those who agree with you. You grow through being around those who disagree with you. Ladies and gentlemen, hope you're having a good one. Stay safe out there. We'll see you on the next one.